This is your final top 10 moments of the week for the fall 2020 season presented by Emporia State University. Let's waste no time and get right after it. Blue Valley West boys soccer undefeated headed into regionals. And with plays like this, you can see why. Coming in on the corner, getting past the defender and elevating. They are also Eastern Kansas League champions. Number nine, Isabel Fuentes serving up the ace. This moment marks the first win in the SEK League in two years. Parsons head coach, formerly of Labette County, I should say Labette County alum, Brooke Hopper doing a great job turning the culture around. Number eight, number eight, Olathe North's Noah Palmer with the excellent footwork. Catch it here, it starts on the inside, goes outside, bend back inside. Olathe North with the bye next week awaits the winner between Olathe Northwest and Shawnee Mission West in 6A. Number seven, humble Lady Cub Carly Woods saves the ball before it hits the wall to continue the rally. We're gonna catch this right in the middle of the action. There you see it goes. Keeps it alive, gets it over the net. We're gonna slow this one down here so you can see exactly how close it was. Look at that effort. Able to finish it off. Number six comes from eight man Madison, Ryan Woolgram. Powers his way through tacklers into the end zone. Check this play out. Looks like he's gonna be stopped, but keeps his feet moving forward and able to pick up the touchdown. Madison will host West Elk on Thursday night in the week nine round of the playoffs. Eureka Hayden Mead throwing a laser beam to his teammate Garrison in the end zone. Watch this. Perfect. Number four, Canton Galva, the one-two punch of Garrett Maltby and Tyson Struber. I have a feeling this is gonna show up on Small Town Sports on Twitter. Watch this tip drill, bloop, and able to pick it off. It just plays like that that makes Canton Galva the undisputed number one team in eight man. Check out this drive by Mitch Budke of Chase County. This was a fun one. Not offensive drive, defensive drive. Ball carrier has it, picks him up and finishes him into the ground. Let's slow that one down as we get some defensive love on this. Mm. Reminds me, I need to go to the chiropractor again. Chase County on a roll heading in to week number nine. A special moment here between Bonner Springs and Casey Piper. Okay, Bonner Springs, Will Hartling, a special needs student, and a shout out to Casey Piper for allowing this moment to transpire. It was homecoming night, and Will was crowned the homecoming king. And take a look at this. everyone because we did a survey on Twitter saying did you think we'd get this far and admittedly close to 75% said no they didn't think so and due to some tough decisions some adjustments made in everyday life these are the moments that student athletes get to capture and take with them for the rest of their days and winter going to be no different. I hope that we can come together so that our student athletes can continue to share these moments and enjoy these memories. It's going to take us all together making adjustments, making changes in our routines, social distancing when necessary, masking up if we can so that way we can continue to have these moments here. But it's not going to take just one person, one school, one community. It's going to take all of us to do it, and I hope we get to do so. And that is your top 10 moments for the final time of 2024 fall sports. 
I'm Zol Lopez.